This is the golden story book and tape called Terror for President. It was written by Dwight John Zimmerman, and the pictures were done by Gene Biggs. Whenever you hear this sound, you'll know it's time to turn the page. After you've listened to the story, you can turn the tape over and record your own story on side two. Are you ready? Find the picture of Ace McCloud giving orders to the Centurions. Okay, Centurions, there's our last target, said Ace McCloud. Jake, you hit those fake traumatizer guards on the land. Max, you knock out the bunker by sea. I'll take care of those imitation doom drones in the air. Roger, Ace, said Jake Rockwell, dashing forward in his Fire Force assault weapon system. Too bad this bunker is Doc Terror's real base. Do you think after the beating we gave him last time, we'll ever see him or Hacker again? Affirmative, said Max Ray. Doc Terror won't rest until he's overthrown the World Council. That's why we can't rest either. We're doomed! Moaned Hacker, Doc Terror's assistant from his hiding place. The Centurions look unbeatable! <laughs> but Hacker was not the only observer. Crystal Kane, operator of the Centurion space station Sky Vault, was monitoring the trainer. With her was their mascot, Lucy the Orangutan. Well done, Centurions. You finished in record time, said Crystal. <laughs> Cried Lucy in agreement. Then how about a reward? Some good old-fashioned R&R, asked Ace. Ace, you always think of rest and recreation, said Crystal. Okay, but first we'll do some of my R&R, rearming and rechecking the assault weapon systems. And she beamed the Centurions up to Sky Vault. Meanwhile, Hacker was making a beeline for Doc Terror's Doom Drone mothership. Doc Terror won't like my news, thought Hacker. Even he can't stop the Centurions. But Hacker discovered that his report made Doc Terror happy. <laughs> Let the Centurions practice, laughed Doc Terror. They'll find out soon enough that there's more than one way to win a war. Huh? How? Asked Hacker. I'm going to become President of the United States cried Doc Terror. Then I'll outlaw the Centurion. The World Council will have to side with me against them. Hacker knew that even in the 21st century, a candidate needed posters. He quickly went to paint some. Soon he had a room full. You fool! shouted Doc Terror when he saw what Hacker was doing. I'm not campaigning like a common politician. I used a bribe to get my name on the ballot. And I will use my genius to rig the election. If the Centurions interfere, my doom drones and traumatizers will destroy them. The Centurions were shocked when they heard the news. Max said, Maybe nothing could stop Doc Terror from being on the ballot, but we can keep him from winning illegally. By election day, they had a plan to prevent exactly that. They would guard the election's office building in Washington, D.C., where the computerized votes were processed. Max said, If Doc Terror is going to try something, he'll strike there. We're ready, Crystal. Beam us down. <laughs> From his lookout near the Washington Monument, Ace spoke into his communicator. Everything is quiet here, Crystal. Terror Hold on. What's this? Something wrong? Asked Crystal. Who knows? An organization called People for Terror is sponsoring a parachute event, said Ace. This I have to see. Just remember, we're here on business, not pleasure, Ace. Even if it is a beautiful Indian summer day, said Max. It's hard, especially with all the pleasure boats I see on the Potomac. That's one nice thing about living now. Lots of leisure time, said Jake. And it'll stay that way as long as Doc Terror doesn't become president. Jake! Cried Crystal through her communicator. The ballots are coming in. Doc Terror is leading. Only if he's fixing the election, said Jake. Wait a minute. I think I know how he's doing it. <laughs> Quietly, Jake ran to one of the vans parked by the building and peered inside. I was right, he thought. The microwave dish aimed at the building gave the van away. Doc Terror is using an ultra-powerful microwave beam to vote himself president. Pulling off his trench coat, Jake said, Crystal, transport down my detonator assault weapon system. 
punching the controls, Crystal said, Detonator transported. Instantly, Jake felt the familiar weight of the detonator weapon system fusing to his exo-frame. All right, Doctor. Now to unstuff your ballot box. Power Extreme! First the dish, and then its designer. Said Jake, blasting the microwave dish to pieces with his tracer guns. Guess again, Centurion. Cried Doc Terror, leaping out of the van. I knew you'd try to stop me. This time you will discover what it's like to be on the losing side. Dramatizers, Doom Drones, attack, repeat, attack. The pleasure boats on the Potomac River suddenly dropped their disguises, revealing an invasion fleet of traumatizers. I thought there was something fishy about those boats, said Max as he tore off his trench coat. Crystal, it's sink or swim time here on the river. I read you, Max. One heavy-duty ship sinker is on the way, said Crystal. Stand by for your depth charger assault weapon system. As Max jumped into the river, he felt the depth charger fuse to his exo-frame. All right, let's deep six those robots. Power Extreme! At the Washington Monument, someone shouted, Look, here comes the stunt parachutists! Those aren't parachutists, said Ace. They're doom drones. Crystal, the sky's the limit on this operation. But one skyboat weapon assault system coming down, replied Crystal. I'll give those Doom Drones a dogfight they'll never forget, said Ace as the Skybolt fused to his exo-frame. Extreme! My freeze ray will take some fire out of this firefight, said Jake as he drove straight into the middle of the traumatizer ranks. Unless I can immobilize these traumatizers fast, Doc Terror will have the time he needs to win the election. <laughs> Meanwhile, high above Washington, D.C., Ace McLeod was proving that even outnumbered, the Centurions were not to be underestimated. Ace to Crystal, my last Doom Drone just became a dead duck, said Ace. What's the situation report? Max Torpedo docked Terror's amphibious assault, and Jake blitzed the traumatizer battalions around the elections office building, reported Crystal. Jake says he needs you at the EOB as soon as possible. Doc's terror is still at large. Not for long, he isn't, replied Ace. I'm on my way. <laughs> as soon as Crystal had beamed their assault weapon systems back to Skyball, Ace, Jake, and Max began searching the elections office building. They found their quarry in the central computer room. Give up, Doc Terror. You'll never be president, said Max. I can still hook myself up to the election computer and swamp it with votes for me, shouted Doc Terror. Hacker, pin them down with your lasers. Hit the deck. I know how to pull Doc Terror's plug, said Ace. Talking into his wrist communicator, he asked, Crystal, you've got a makeup mirror, don't you? A what? cried Crystal. Of course I do, but why? No time to explain, replied Ace. Beam it to me, pronto. <laughs> Crystal transported the mirror right into Ace's hand. Thanks, Crystal, said Ace as he leaped toward Hacker. Now let's see how good a reflection I can make on Doc Terror. You sealed your doom, Centurion, cried Hacker. Maybe, and maybe not said Ace as he caught Hacker's laser beam in Crystal's mirror and bounced it back at Doc Terror. Ace's deflected laser beam was a perfect shot. The beam sliced through Doc Terror's connection to the election computer. He leapt back in rage and pain. Sorry to cut you off like that, Doc, but that line's already busy taking in the real vote, said Ace. Centurions may have stopped my plan, but you'll never catch me, cried Doc Terror. Hacker, slow them down. Hacker aimed his lasers at the ceiling, cutting out huge chunks that cascaded down between the Centurions and their foes. Look out, quick, out the front door, cried Max. Maybe we can still catch them. But when the Centurions emerged from the building, they discovered that they were too late. We were so close, grumbled Ace. 
At least Doc Terror won't be president, said Jake. And with the damage we did to his forces, it should be a long time before we hear from him again. Later, up in Sky Vault, the Centurions made their report. Ace paused as he finished, then added, I guess you could say that Doc Terror came within an ace of becoming our next president. Crystal glanced at him, and Riley replied, I prefer to think that he was defeated at the polls.